What is up guys, Mr. Candyman here, and we are finally back after, I don't even know, I think it's been, it's it's gotta be close to two weeks, it's a little less than two weeks, it's maybe like ten days, um, but we are finally back guys, um, I'm sorry that we've been away so long, just had a lot of stuff to do, I went out of town for like five days, and then I came home, and I had a lot of tests, like tests that I needed to pass to pass the class, and um, stuff like that, and I do have one of those tests uh, on Wednesday, so tomorrow you won't be getting a video, unfortunately, but starting Wednesday we will get officially back in the groove, because then it's going to be close to summer and I'll only have the little stuff to do, so um, yeah guys, um, later today, which today is Sunday the 26th, we are going to be um, recording more gameplay and putting, that should be put up today, or I'll spread it out throughout the week, I don't know yet, we will see. And, um, by the way, this is some MLB 2K13 gameplay. Um, I ended up winning this game in 12 innings. Uh, it was, what was it, 3 to 2, the score. But, um, he ended up rage quitting after I beat him, so he got the almighty bitch message at the end. I only said, I, I saved the bitch message for the people that leave early. You're a bitch. But, um... Yeah, guys, so this was just really basically uh, an informational video telling you that why we've been away so long and a time frame of when you can see us to come back. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, be sure to write, comment, subscribe, and we will see you uh, on Wednesday. All right, peace. Constructed to be a deep playoff team with their lineup of pitching. That long layoff, John, going into the World Series. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Crawford's there. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Two outs and in the box. Miguel Cabrera. Here it comes. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. The 1-0 now. This one swung on and driven hard. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. Let's take a look at the starting pitcher we've got for Detroit. Steve, uh, let's try and go inside his mind. What's he thinking about oh. against these Dodgers? Uh, for Justin Verlander, it's always a matter of how good is the stuff on a given day and can he shut down the opposition. He has an explosive fastball, great secondary stuff, and he is a bulldog on the mound. And Mark Ellis strikes out, no contact made. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. And it's Kyle Crawford at the plate. Well, the adventure in Boston really strange for Kyle Crawford. In 2011, his first season there, he struggled. Last season, Tommy John surgery. So, what's he going to be? Swing, hot shot. That falls in, first hit of the ball game. And with Crawford, it came uh, to an end. Part of a mega deal that had him shipped to the Dodgers. He'll have a long road ahead of him to get back from that Tommy John surgery. Though. You know, though, I think it's probably a good thing for him to get a fresh start. The Boston market, not a great place for him. I think now he can start a new relationship with fans and teammates and get back to being productive. Oh, he's trying to steal second. And his throw, he is out. Great throw. That swung on and a liner here. And that's going to be a base hit for Kemp. Not even close with that throw, and he's on it first.